Okay, this video is going to be about understanding how T-Fuel rewards for staking Theta are paid out under the old system and under the new system. A new block is created every six and a half to seven seconds on the Theta blockchain. The blockchain rewards are paid out every 100 blocks, which equates to the every 11 and a half to 12 minute time frame. As of March 10th, 2021, there are approximately 2,500 Guardian nodes operating. Each of them has one or more people staked to them. So the Guardian nodes have to pay out the blockchain rewards that were earned every 12 minutes, roughly. And in the case of Gpool, they probably have thousands of people that are staking to them so gpool alone is having to pay out tfuel staking rewards to all of those people who are staking to it and they have to do that every 12 minutes under the old system so the theta team realized that there was a potential problem on the horizon with congestion the tremendous number of transactions that were having to be done every 12 minutes so they had to come up with a method of of solving that problem and that's what Theta 2.2.0 does and so I'm going to explain how that works. Instead of all Guardian nodes paying out their T-Fuel rewards to their stakeholders every 12 minutes, instead what they're going to do is they will select 300 Guardian nodes randomly to pay out what is owed to their stakeholders. And the rest will simply hold their rewards until they are selected in a future drawing. The Guardian node selection process is a weighted process. In other words, the more theta that a guardian node has staked to it, the more likely it is to be selected in the drawing of 300 guardian nodes that get to pay out their T-Fuel rewards during that 100 uh, block cycle. Think of it this way. A guardian node gets one ticket for every thousand theta that are staked to that guardian node and those tickets are thrown into a hat. So every guardian node essentially has a ticket for 1000 theta that are staked to it. So if they've got 5000 theta they'll have five tickets thrown into the hat whereas another guardian node maybe only has a thousand staked to it so it has one ticket. So the odds of the larger guardian node being selected in that random drawing so to speak they have five chances to the other guardian node having just one so when they reach in and they pull out a ticket with the name of a guardian node on it it's more likely that the larger guardian node is going to have their ticket pulled from the hat so to speak so they're more likely to be selected and allowed to pay out the T fuel that they owe to their stakeholders. If a given guardian node is not selected through this process over the process of say a week Week, they will automatically get to pay out their T fuel rewards to their stakeholders. That may be a week, it may be two weeks, uh, or it could be a month. And I don't know what time frame they've set for that, but every Guardian node will get an opportunity to pay out their T fuel rewards periodically. My guess is it'll probably be a week, maybe two at, at the most. So you won't necessarily see a T-Fuel reward payout for your Theta for a week or two. Or you could see one every day. Just depends on the luck of the draw, so to speak. So now that I've explained how it all works, uh, let's take a look at some real world examples here with my own uh, transaction history. Okay, this is an update on the Theta version 2.2.0 release regarding the way the staking T-Fuel rewards are paid out for staking Theta. As you can see on the screen, I've got a total of five payouts and they start on the 10th, which is the date that they released this update. So the last one that I got 
was let's go in here and show this it shows the date was the 14th at 12 49 a.m so that would have been uh let's say one in the morning on the 14th so since this payment it has been 43 hours keep in mind that the way this is done now only 300 of the guardian nodes it's kind of random 300 of the total number of guardian nodes are selected to pay out and it did say that they are weighted the more theta is staked to the guardian node the more likely that guardian node is to be among the 300 that get to pay out so G pool, which is who I'm staked to, is at the top of the list as far as by the number of theta that are staked to it. So it's likely to be among that 300, but not guaranteed. So I guess the thing to take away from this is you're going to get paid the same if you back away and look at the total t fuel earnings over the course of a month you're supposed to be getting the same amount of t fuel rewards as you did before but you may not necessarily get them every day and in some cases you may get more than one in a day like in my case here i have gotten more than one in a single day because obviously the 10th the 11th the 12th the 13th is four days and i've gotten five payouts so anyway that's what i've been paid and it can be a little bit confusing but as long as the amount that i get paid over the course of a month ends up being the same as it was before i prefer this to getting the little micro payments every 11 or 12 minutes like we were before okay if you found this helpful go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me if you would on your way out and i'll see you in the next video